So however, the path to get there is, is long. This graphic illustrates how we can achieve herd immunity through a combination of immunity uh, that is achieved through infection uh, or through vaccination. So currently, as you could see, most of the immunity in the population has been a result of past infections in the population. But we are now increasing immunity levels through vaccination. As vaccination levels increase, we have less cases in the population and herd immunity then becomes more of a function of the vaccination. Now, there are potential roadblocks toward herd immunity. Vaccine distribution is no simple matter. There are over 200 million adults spread across 50 states with close to 3,000 local health departments. In addition, a couple of the current vaccines need to be kept at specific temperatures and require two doses. And just because President Biden tells us that in May we will have enough doses for all adults, he's not saying that they will be in our arms by then. We need to find and set up places and find people to deliver those vaccines into our arms. Uh, and we need to do it in a way that's accessible to the community with special attention to the most vulnerable populations in our community. Vaccine hesitancy, as you heard, is a real issue. And vaccine hesitancy in the population can also pose a barrier to achieving herd immunity if a sizable portion of the population opts out of receiving the vaccine. And of course, there's also the risk of new variants being more resistant to the current vaccines. That's possible, um, but not, of course, if we get immunization out there uh, as fast as possible. Regardless, it's a race against time in many ways.